everyone. Hey guys, what's up everyone? We're back with Weed Fishing Resort. We got to catch a platinum alligator guard today. We're going after it. We're at Paddus Jungle. And Bam Bam Lounge is what they call the hotel there. Okay, so we're going to get busy here. It's the morning. We woke up early morning so we can get out here and get to these fish. Now, in the water, it's going to be kind of difficult to tell which one the platinum gar is and the regular gar. So we'll show you that as we're getting ready to try to catch it. But is that the easiest one? That's for sure. We'll have to sign up for that later. When we get through catching this fish, we'll sign up for that. How's that sound, guys? Yeah. We'll do the symbol hunt, the easy one. Piranha, we don't want a piranha right now. All right, so... Um, Rock a cougar, we're not going for it. focus on story mode for this episode? Uh-huh. We got to focus on uh, story mode. We got to... And then after that, we might be able to do some side quests. Because the first thing we need to do is catch this. Uh, okay, well, we don't want to take any of those uh, challenges. Because that's not what we're fishing for today. As we told you already, if, it, if an alligator gar was a challenge up there, we would have took it. Because like I said, it's hard to tell the difference between the two in the water. And there's that old man. He's the one that told us about the platinum alligator gar. Okay, so we'll run down to the boat. And like I showed you on the previous video, we were almost to that area when they made us go back in. So we're going to get there today. And this time, I have a nunchuck, and it's yeah. black. Okay. Yeah. Jace has his nunchuck, so he's ready to play, too. Yeah. Unfortunately, where we're going in the pool, mangrove pool, you can only have one player. So, but we'll go back over and, you know, go to places where we can have to. It's coming. We just got to catch the platinum alligator guard and then we'll move on for that. We're not going to try to do a whole bunch there. We can also catch a red tail, tail uh, catfish because we haven't caught one of those yet. They also have Dorados in that area. There's a password fish in that area too, but we haven't entered that password yet. So, it don't really matter for that. Uh, it's a electric eel. That's one of the toughest fish to catch in the whole gang, guys. But we have to enter the password before we can ever do that. We haven't even put that in there yet. Now you do that at the hotel on the computer. And you got to look up the code on Google or another thing like that so you can find out what the code is. And, if you, and just in case if you forget what the code is, guys, just do a piece of paper. Yeah, you can write it down on a piece of paper because there is longer codes. And if I'm streaming, I can't look it up in stream normally at the same time unless I grab a laptop or something because I use my phone to stream. So it's kind of difficult when you're streaming to look so it up. That's why, guys, whenever we look stuff up, we'll have our laptop with us. True. We might get the laptop after a while and see if we can. Hey, I don't think I've seen this place before. Right. It's the first time we actually made it all the way over here. See, I'm looking for the alligator guy. Oh. Oh, whoops. Trying to get him to talk. Yeah. Hey there, James. How how's your fishing coming along? We saw. How them. about we see who can catch the biggest fish in a set period of time? I won't lose this time around. We'll see about that. Oh, you'll do it? All right then. Let's give it. Give ourselves three hours and meet back here and see how we did. Well, yeah, we'll see about that. Good to see you again, though. Yeah. It's nice to have friends out here that we fish with. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see another old friend. It will be nice to see another one. Well, we haven't caught one of these yet. Now it might be bigger than any fish he catches. 
I don't I'll see just, a guard yet. I'll just wait until um until I can play this episode. Oh, there's one right there to the right, so we know where to go next time to try to catch that fish. Like I said, in the water, it's a little bit difficult to tell whether it's a platinum alligator gar or a regular. They just, you know, look a lot alike in the water. As it comes out, you can tell. Then once it starts jumping, you can tell. But in the water, it's kind of hard. So that's what makes it so difficult to catch one. Because when you catch them, you're not real sure if you're trying to go after a regular alligator gar or platinum when you go after them. That one on the right looks like a platinum. It looks kind of shiny. Okay, this is red tail catfish. We haven't caught one of these yet on this guy. So it's a good catch. And you placed us at least in our competition. Now let's go after this alligator. Who said that? Oh, our com guy we're competing against, our friend. Oh, oh okay. Here's the that looks like a platinum right there. Guys, that really does. We're not going after you. I don't think so. Either one of them. I really a lot twist my leg again. Yeah, it doesn't feel good when you hurt a body part. Now we're trying to get this platinum one. Get on over here, alligator guard. There's another one behind there. But that one to the left looks like a platinum. When you can't see it, it's not what you want. Trust me, guys. We go after that is not going to be what we want. We're going to be disappointed. Come on, Platinum. They keep on trying to steal our bait. Don't even give him time to try. So there's nothing wrong we did there. There's another one behind it. Maybe you'll come.
There's another one on pay. Pass. That's not gonna do it. Take it in, cast it out again. It's not what we want. Well, our contest is over, so we might well pull that one in, see what the contest is, and then hunt for the black alligator gun. That was frustrating because we have one right there that we thought I thought we wanted to catch. It was even trying to think about biting our hood, but it never did. And we didn't do anything wrong, it just didn't do it. But that can be frustrating. See how big a fish this other guy caught. He might have beat us because we didn't catch that big a fish. I was hoping to get an alligator dart. And I knew nothing would have won. Another bass. Ernest T. Ba I mean, a uh, peacock bass. Okay, time's up. We won. Holy four feet. Seriously, man, did I ever lose this challenge? Thank you very much for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. Hope we can do it again soon. Me too. He seems like a pretty good guy. Well, we'll fish with you again sometime soon. Yeah, maybe. That looks like a platinum alligator guard to the left. One to the right doesn't look platinum. Do you? you can tell how it's kind of shining in the water. Of course, a peacock bass is going to try to steal our bait. That always happens. They're quick to bite. That one to the left is definitely look like a platinum alligator though. We want him. But not that red tailed catfish right there. Oh, it stole our bay. I thought we had one. I didn't even see that that was there. And there was a, there was a uh, gar that was, you know, bobbing his head up and down. That's why I hooked it up. I thought we had the right one, but no. My bass came and stole our bay. Not even a big one. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't look like an alligator. 
Uh, platinum. See if we see one to the left. Right there looks like one. See that red tail catfish? He's about to try to steal it, but. There's another one trying to steal it, but. We don't mind catching those, but not right now. We're trying to catch this black. It's a red tail catfish. I don't see the one, but I know that's probably not him. See, we see him swimming towards us, but he's not in position to bite yet. Now he is. See that one to the left? Yeah, notice those fish, because if not, they'll steal your bait. There's another one. Tell catfish to the right. Swam away though, so. Hold on. I take this off the phone. Sorry, guys. There we go. Had to take that off the phone, so now we'll get back to it. That's a platinum right there. You can see how it glows in the water. It looks white almost. <sighs> Let's change bait. Sometimes when they're not biting, that's the best thing to do. Let's see what we got on there. I think we already got the Rainbow large, let's try the quick hitter large. Now we're going to hunt it back down because it disappeared on us. We're over the top of one. Go as slow and quietly as possible. I don't see him no more. But there he is.
as a regular alligator dog, we'll go ahead and catch that with good practice. Be very careful not to lose these type of fish because they're big fighters. Let's see, I believe that's a regular alligator dog. But... Okay, it's a bigger one though. I think. Nope, same so. And hey, we already had an eye. Oh well. Let's see, we see that fish still. Yep, right there in front of us. Ah, we didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. That's the red tail. Catfish, which are worth a lot of points. It's not a total waste of time. Well, they steal your bait. It's not so bad. Cause they're worth quite a little points. I think 1400 for a base fish. It's a lot better to have that one still your bait than when the peacock bass. That's a smaller one, so I don't think it's going to get any extra points, but that's okay. So for, I think about 1,400 points. That's a Dorado to the left. Be ready to hook it up because it's only giving you about one bite. I do too. But it's not moving its nose at all. I was sure that wasn't it. It wasn't biting, it was that red tail catfish. It's going to move its nose. It's going to show you it's about to bite before it bites it.
Let's try to do something. I won't switch bait again. Hopefully it'll give me enough time. Ah, I was afraid of that. It's gonna make it go in. But that's okay. We'll try late night fishing and get it, okay? Y'all wanna do that? Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's a pretty tiny red tail catfish. Hope you catch, can spot a bigger one next time. So like I said, there's still 40, 14, 10. That's actually a B, 21, 15. They're a waste of time. And those are not. Those are worth quite a few points. It's harder to see it at night fishing, but you can still kind of see the glow in the water, and you can see that big fish. The gars are so big, it's hard to miss them. And you almost see a glow in the water when it's a platinum over just the dull color of a regular. So you can still see it a little bit. As you can tell, even during the daytime, in the mangrove pole area, it is a little bit darker in that area. So, I mean, it's about the same thing either way. There is another area where you can fish for this type of fish, but it's kind of more like almost blind luck catching it. It's the waterfall area, which is over on the back left corner of this uh, lake area. You go through another hole in the rock wall. I'll show y'all that on a different video. But... I think the best area to catch this is over here. Because you can actually kind of see when you're going for the right fish. And whereas the pole, you can't see it that well over there on the uh, waterfall, in my opinion. Kind of casting just hopeful that you hit the right one. And we don't want to be just hopeful. We want to be able to spot it and then target it. It's kind of dark in here, so sometimes I like to pull up. You see how it lit it up right there? And even if you pull that up, it, tell, it lets you know you're going in the right direction. Okay, we're in the mangrove pool area now. Now we're trying to find one. There looks like one. The one on the left looks more like a platinum to me than the one on the right. But that could be one, so I went ahead and hooked it up. I couldn't tell. You don't want to not hook it up and then that was one. Like I said, the electric hill in this area fights even harder than this one does. But we don't have a password in there yet, so it's not it's not even popping up at this time. But you catch them in the same area. The electric eel will get you ready for bigger fish. Uh, 
Did you catch like the hiding area or the uh, white sturgeon? Those type of fish. Or even the ones in the cave. Remember the one in the cave, Jazz? What is it called? The King of the Hearing. Yes, King of the Hearing. That was not a platinum. Oh, well. Like I said, in the, in the, it's harder to tell when it's nighttime. But we got a fish, at least. Now we'll go out to the one that looks more like a platinum. Is that a platinum right there? Yes. I'm trying to catch the King of the Hearing in real life so I can get... That other paper Mario <laughs> I think they're hard to catch in real life too. I don't think it's easy. I'm going to pull in and cast a little bit to the right because there's two fish there that look like they're both possible. Those two fish right there to the left, they are possible. I believe those are both platinum, platinums. So hopefully we can track one of them. I don't think that one's a platinum. I think we got the right one, but I'm not sure. We'll see. It can be frustrating trying to catch a plot. We'll take a fishing day or two for sure. But we're going to catch it. He is persistence. Coming after any fish in this guy. You have to be pers persistent. That's a regular one. It's a big, I think it's, let's see. It's a bigger size one today, but it's a regular. Okay, let's get a hook in the line. A line in the water. A hook in the water, because I think those are both platinum. We just got to get one of them to come after us. I don't see what that is biting the hook, and I'm not going after it. Is not what we're looking for. We want them one of those platinums. As long as they're hanging to the left of my line, I'm not hooking anything up until they're over here in position to actually bite. And normally they'll show you they're about to bite before they actually do. It's a red tail catfish that's trying to seal our bait. We're not letting it happen though. Probably what bit our hook the time before. See, that's a platinum right there. It looks like it. it looks whitish.
Is that the fish, Scott? Yeah, that's what we wanted. It didn't bite. Bite and hunt, though. Okay, so that's the fish that we need. That is definitely the fish we need. That was, that was definitely looking like a platinum to me. Like I said, it's harder to tell in the water, but it sure looked whitish. That's what we want is a whitish fish. So there's another one out there. So even if that one disappeared, I'm hoping the little sister comes over and bite our hook. Maybe we should see whether they still over to the left. That's what I want to do. I just want to try to cast a little bit to the left. Not a whole lot. Looks like they disappeared on us. We might well take that one because they will tell it's time to go in in a minute anyway. That looks like a larger red tailed catfish. As I did.